Maple's Winter Wine Festival is giving kids in Collier County the ability to dream big. Today, trustees met the kids who benefit from their generosity and got a look at the charitable programs they're helping. Wake News reporter Megan Contreras takes us to today's meet and greet. This mom credits the St. Matthew's house for helping her get back on her feet. She has been faced with financial problems that haven't made life easy. I know we're on the right track to be who we need to be and do what we need to do for our children. She says St. Matthew's house has given them a new stable start. Her life defines the motto of today's event, imagine the possibilities. They helped me get my son into daycare full time and an after school program for my daughter. The organization is one of the beneficiaries of the Naples Winter Wine Festival put on by the Naples Children and Education Foundation. Last year, St. Matthew's House was given a $40,000 grant all raised at the event. It's amazing that folks come out like this to, to get the hands on impact instead of simply writing a check and never seeing the result. 200,000 underprivileged or at risk children in Collier County directly benefit. Today, trustees got to meet the kids they are helping. Some took selfies to capture the moment. It's just uh, wonderful to be able to participate and contribute to the welfare of children. The kids put in a lot of work preparing for their special meet and greets. They made charms to give each of the trustees as a keepsake from the day. Reporting in Collier County. Megan Contreras with news. And tomorrow is the big day. Trustees will bid on some extravagant prizes. That money goes to the charities. And coming up on Wink News at 5, we'll show you some of those auction items, and you don't want to miss that.